In spinning, fibers are used as a raw material and during cleaning, impurities are required to be removed by opening the lumps of fibers in glorum and carding. But due to the wrong selection of glorum and carding process parameters, fibers get damaged and it is known as fiber rupture. Fiber rupture also takes place during the paralyzation of fiber at comber and draw frame due to wrong selection of process parameters. The key to control fiber rupture is proper selection of process parameters. Welcome friends, myself Ramakan Dubey and today in this video we will discuss about fiber rupture in detail. In glorum the fiber lumps are opened and cleaned and so the fiber passes through the beaters. This beating may damage the fiber resulting fiber rupture. It may be due to harsh beating, rusted grip bars, blunt or damaged beater points, high beater speed or narrow beater to fetal gauge also due to engagement of more beating points than required kindly subscribe my youtube channel textile technos and press bell button to get new video notifications what are the reasons for the fiber rupture in blow room harsh beating rusted grid bars and flaps blunt and damaged beater pins narrow feed plate to beater gauge and excessive number of beating points against required in carding high liquor in speed narrow feed plate to liquor in gauge rusted or damaged grid bars and under casing in cumber, low number of fiber in cross section in feed lap, high density of top comb needles, narrow drafting roller setting, and excessive load on coiler calendar rolls. In draw frame, narrow drafting roller settings are the major reasons for fiber rupture. Fiber rupture can be predicted either by spun length reduction or short fiber increase in output material for any blow room beater, carding, cumber, or draw frame. If a spun length is reduced by 3% or more, or Short fiber content by number that is known as SFCN is increased by 8% or more. It can be said that the fiber rupture is taking place in that particular blowroom beater, carding, comber or draw frame. It is very simple to estimate the fiber rupture in our process. The formula is for span length, the length of delivered minus length of feed divided by the length of feed multiplied by 100 and for short fiber content by numbers it is delivered minus feed divided by feed into 100. But the standard for both span length and short fiber content by number is different. If span length is reduced by 3% or more, it can be judged that fiber rupture is taking place. And if we monitor short fiber contents by number, then it should not increase above 8%. Peter speed and beating points in chlorum should be suitable to fiber micronash and trace percentage in mixing. Feed roll to beater gauge should be suitable to the fiber length. Replacement of beater wire should be according to the schedule. Similarly, in carding the liquorine speed, feed plate to liquorine gauge are the area for fiber rupture. Liquorine speed should be according to the trash percentage in mixing and feed plate to liquorine gauge should be suitable to fiber length. This is the list to control fiber rupture. In blow room, beating points and beater speed should be as per trash and micronair of fiber in the mixing. Beater to feed roll gauge should be as per fiber length. Grid bars, flaps of blow room and beaters should be polished. Damage pin and teats are to be attended. Replacement schedule for beaters should be followed strictly. In carding, liquorine speed should be as per trash percentage in mixing and fiber micronair in mixing. Feed plate to liquid gauge should be as per fiber length. Grid bars and under casing should be rust free and polished. In comber, top comb should be used with appropriate needles density. Fiber in a cross section of comber feed lap should be above 3.5 lakhs. Optimized coiler calendar roll loading will control the fiber rupture. Comber drafting front roll gauge suggestion is 2.5 span length plus 10 mm. And for draw frame, back zone 2.5% span length plus 12 mm and front zone 2.5% span length plus 8 mm is recommended. The rupture can be judged by checking the length of fiber or short fiber percentage of input versus output material for any blow room beater, carding, comber or draw frame. All the gauges should be even at the three points, whether it is blow room, feed roll to beater gauge or it is feed roll to liquor gauge in carding and it is bottom rolls in comber and draw frame drafting zone. The measurement should be assured at left hand side, right hand side and the middle portion of the rolls and beaters. It should not be cross, it should be even at all the three points. During any preventive maintenance, beater spin should be checked. If any pin or teeth is damaged, it should be attended. All grid bars and flaps should be polished and rust free. In carding, liquorine sawtooth 
should be checked and grid bar should be polished and free from rust. I hope it is enough on fiber rupture. We will be back soon. Till then, take care.